Homemade front loader on a garden mower tractor. This is an evaluation of a recent make of a front loader on my garden tractor. Now the question is uh, whether you think it's going to be worthwhile to do a project of your own. So is it worthwhile building my own loader onto my riding tractor mower? Well, we hope that what you see in this video will help you to answer that question. So as we proceed, uh, this is in fast motion, uh, about four times the normal speed. So we did that so that the video would be relatively short. You see the loader pulling up to pick up the mobile home axles. Uh, the axles weigh about 150 pounds each. The loader could easily pick up all three at the same time if they weren't so awkward. Now here, we see the loader coming up to break some ground, some sodded ground, uh, untouched virgin ground, you might say. It's having difficulty. There are no teeth on this bucket. And uh, it's, it's you know, having to kind of rock it back and forth to, to dig into it to a little bit. And it's having difficulty. So possibly putting some teeth on the bucket might make it work. As it is, I'm not happy with it as for digging. So the way I handled it was uh, using this small tractor with a blade on the back. That blade has some sharp teeth on the bottom of it for ripping and tearing and it does a nice job in tearing up the sod, the roots and the grass uh, so that the loader can come in afterwards and work with looser dirt. And uh, this took a little bit a while to do. I did went back and forth here for about 15 minutes and you can see why I've got the video speed it up so it doesn't bore you to death but uh, little by little broke it up and you could use a rotor tiller to do this if you wanted to but uh, this works well back and forth back and forth so here in a minute we're going to bring the loader back into it as this gets broken up and we'll see if this is sufficient to help the loader You can see that it's getting broke up fairly well, loosening up quite a bit. Okay, so here comes the loader, and sure enough, that worked. That allowed me to uh, be able to dig in a little bit and, and level it off and scrape it and and uh, do some more leveling back and forth, back and forth uh, with the loader. Of course, I needed some more dirt to be brought in in some of the low places. So the loader works well for that. And you notice that the loader it has no end plates on it. And that is so that I have the versatility of picking up large, long objects, such as those axles. The loader bucket is made out of some pretty strong 5 16 steel. So it holds together without those end plates pretty well. And interesting that when I pick up the dirt and bring it in on the loader, I'm picking up probably somewhere between five large shovelfuls to maybe ten large shovelfuls of dirt each time I bring in. So it's a, it's, uh, you can imagine doing it by hand with a wheelbarrow. And so this is uh, really a time saver. Now here we go back to picking up uh, more of the axles. This one's a little bit ornery. So I've got to straighten it out a little bit, get a clean shot at it. There we have it. And off we go. Now the final axle is a little bit lower to the ground. Uh, the other two axles had electric brake drums on them. And so they were a little bit higher off the ground. 
and I have hooks that are welded onto the loader bucket here and they wouldn't quite go underneath this axle, it was that low to the ground. So it just took a, a moment for me to get out, just kind of put it on the, the bucket there and up. No problems carrying it off. Imagine having to tote that by hand or load it up on a pickup truck or whatever. Homemade mower tractor loader is good for lifting and moving such as loose dirt, mulch, large objects. It's not good for digging in its present state. We'll have to experiment with this a little bit to see if uh, adding some teeth to it and I'll have to update things. So I'll do an update video when I do that. But the reason for this is because it doesn't have enough weight in the front and it doesn't have enough traction for pushing and, and uh, biting into the dirt. Today's modern garden mower tractors are simply not as heavy duty as their old counterparts. So it's worth it, is it worth it, to build a front loader on a riding mower? Well, you bet it is. You saw some of the time saving and the back breaking things that are saved by having it. Besides being helpful around the, the homestead, it's fun. But just remember that there are limitations to it. So here's a recommendation for would-be builders. Use hydraulics. If you use the 12 volt actuators, expect them to be painfully slow. If you want to go with a 12 volt system, you will probably be happier with a 12 volt DC winch setup. Well that's about it. Hopefully this has been helpful for you to make a decision for your own build. We will be updating some information here in another video, but we want to say thank you for watching. Please click the like button, and if you want to see more, maybe even subscribe. Thank you so much.